children and welcome to another maths lesson. How have you been getting on with problem solving? We're going to have another lesson on it today. But today you've got to choose whether you think the problems involve a part whole model or whether you think it's a comparison problem. Read the problems really carefully. Look back now at some of the problems that we've gone through and shared together. Let's start off with our first problem. I'll read it to you first and then I'd like you to read it a second time, just like we do in school. There were 54 flowers in a flower bed. 19 of them were red. How many were not red? You read it with me now, so that we are reading all of the information carefully. There were 54 flowers in a flower bed. 19 of them were red. How many were not red? Let's do YMCA. Y is you or us together. The first thing we need to do is model the problem. We know this is a part whole problem because we've been given the whole, the total number of flowers in the flower bed. So I need to draw a bar to represent that. It's really important that you label the bar correctly as I'm going to show you now. So the value of the whole of that bar is 54. And you need to put in your horizontal line to show that. What else do we know about that 54? Well, it tells us that 19 of these are red. So I need to estimate approximately where 19 would be. I think 19 will be slightly less than halfway. The value of this part now is 19. And I must put on those horizontal lines. How many were not red? So these, this is the part that's red. So where will the question mark go? Which part of that bar is representing the flowers that are not red? It's this part here. Remember, we must put the question mark in and then show with our horizontal line what the question mark value is. We've now modelled it. We now need to calculate. C for calculate. I need to write down the calculation that will help me work out the question mark. We've got the total, which is 54, and we've got part of it, what's left, will give us the answer. The calculation involves subtraction. 54 needs to be my minuend because it's the number of the greatest value, it's the whole, and then I need to subtract 19. Some of the problems today, you'll be able to complete the calculation using a mental strategy. Some of the calculations you may need to use a written method. This is definitely one that we can use a mental method for. We like the number 19, don't we? It's close to a multiple of 10. So let's round and adjust. 54 subtract 20 is 34, and we need to adjust by adding 1 back on. So the difference is 30. And the last step is to answer the problem. How many were not read? So my sentence is going to be 35 flowers were not read. 35 flowers were not read. It's the end of my sentence, so I finish with a full stop. 
And the next one. My turn first. On a washing line hung 28 t-shirts and 13 jumpers. How many fewer jumpers were there than t-shirts? Now let's read it together again. On a washing line hung 28 t-shirts and 13 jumpers. How many fewer jumpers were there than t-shirts? Have you spotted the word that tells us this is a comparing problem? It was more in the first one. This time it's the word fewer, which means less than. So I need to draw two bars, one representing the t-shirts and one representing the jumpers. So it tells me that I've got 28 t-shirts. I'm going to put TS for my t-shirt bar. And I know the total of that bar, it's 28. Now what do I know about the jumpers? It says there are 13 jumpers. That's less than 28, it's almost half. So I'm going to draw my bar around about half of the length of the t-shirt bar and I know that total is 13. What is the question asking us? How many fewer jumpers were there than t-shirts? Can you find on the model where that part is being represented? It's in the space here. This is how much fewer it is. So this is where I put the question mark. Really important, you always put the question mark as you model the problem. It's now time to calculate. We've got 28 here, we've got 13 here, and the question mark is in the space. Have we worked out what operation we've got to use? Yes, it's subtraction. 28 will be my minuend because it is the number of the greatest value. We're going to subtract or minus 13 and it will give us the value of the question mark. Definitely a mental calculation for us. I'm going to count back. 28 in my head. Subtract 10, which is 18. Subtract three ones, which is 15. Let's see what the question was asking us. How many fewer jumpers were there than t-shirts? There were 15 fewer jumpers than t. stop. Let's do another one. My turn first, then your turn to read it afterwards. There were 5,482 spectators at a rugby match. 4,254 of them were adults. The rest were children. How many children were there? Join in with me now. There were 5,482 spectators at a rugby match. 4,254 of them were adults. The rest were children. How many children were there? Now it's time to YMCA. Okay, so we need to model the problem first. Again, I know it's a part whole because we've been given the whole number of spectators and then we know about part of them. We know the part that are adults. So my bar is going to represent all of the spectators, which is 5,482. The part 
of this that we've been given is 4,254 adults. So I need to approximate, estimate where that would be. I think it would be up to about there. So I need to label that 4,254. So where will the question mark go? How many children were there? Well, these are the adults, so they must be the children. So let's put a question mark there. And we're now ready to calculate. So we know we've got the whole, and we've got part of the whole, and we can see the question mark is of less value. So we're going to have to do another subtraction. Make sure your minuend is the number of the greatest value and we're subtracting the number of adults. Now look at this calculation. I don't think we should do it mentally. Let's do column subtraction instead. So we need to lay it out in columns. We're subtracting. Make sure all of your digits go under the right number. And always remember to start with our ones. Two subtract four. We can't do it. So let's go and exchange ten tens. One ten for ten ones. Twelve subtract four. We can do that. That's eight ones. Seven tens subtract five tens, that's two tens. Four hundred subtract two hundred, that's two hundred. And five thousand subtract four thousand, that's one thousand. We're now ready to answer the calculation and the problem. How many children were there? There were 1,228 children. There were 1,228 children. Full stop. And there we are. And the next one. During a football match, Team A made 2,458 passes. Team B made 1,206 more passes. How many passes did Team B make? Let's read it together. During a football match, Team A made 2,458 passes. Team B made 1,206 more passes. How many passes did Team B make? Again, in this one, did you spot the important word that tells us we're comparing something in this problem? It's the word more. It tells us that Team B made more passes. So I'll have two bars, one representing Team A, and one representing Team B. Team A, so I've got A there, made 2,458 passes. Now, what do I know about Team B? They made 1,206 more passes. So my bar will need to be longer. It will need to be longer by almost half. So where will I need to put 1,206? It's not the total number of passes they made, it's how many more passes they made compared to Team A. It's this bit here. This bit is worth 1,206, up to the end of bar A. How many passes?
classes did team B make? So my question mark is wanting me to find out how many goal, how many passes team B made all together. We've modelled it, it's now time to calculate. What calculation do we need to do with our two known numbers to find this question mark here? It's addition. It's 2,458 add 1,206. Definitely can't use a mental method. I need to use column addition. So as we've learned in school, we set our numbers out under each other. It's adding this time. When I draw my two calculation lines. Always start with the ones. 8 add 6. It's 14. I can't put the 14 in the 1 space, so I exchange 10 ones and put it in the 10 space. 5 add 0 add 1 10 is 6 tens altogether. 400 add 200 is 600. 2000 and 1000 is 3000. So, how many passes did Team B make? Team B made. Is that total? 3,664 passes. Full stop. Work hard everybody. Read those problems really carefully to help you decide whether it's a part whole or a comparison. Bye bye.